All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to this video. And this video, we are in a Ford vehicle. And um, what we're going to do is demonstrate um, how to uh, simply and how to guide on basically how to change the mileage or the, uh, the kilometers in a Ford vehicle. This is a Ford Focus that we're in right now. Um, the odometer is reading, I'm not sure how well you can pick that up, but it says 68,679 miles. Uh, this is the X tool that we're going to be using. This is a more advanced version uh, of the one of the X tool products. But the link I'm going to put in the description below this video um, is a, a much more cost-effective version that will do exactly the same thing on a Ford vehicle if you're looking to uh, change the mileage on the vehicle. Now I'm not going to get into the legalities of changing mileages because that's for ultimately you to work out and that's for you to decide. Um, I'm just here to basically show you how to do it. So what we're going to do is we have this tool plugged in here and we're going to cl click on to diagnose. Um, simple odometer adjustment try and get it all in the shot here for you um, so you can see the different makes and models that it covers we're going to click on to Ford we're going to click on to find the focus and um, we're going to click on 2009 onwards multifunction screen we're going to click 213 onwards mileage adjustment current mileage 110529 kilometers um, so we'll click yes to continue. Now I'm not sure whether it's going to ask for this in kilometers. So let's change it to 90. 90,000 let's say kilometers. It's either going to put it to 90,000 kilometers or 90,000 miles. Um, 68,679. Click OK to that. Mileage adjustment complete, click OK, and when it comes back on the screen it should give us an updated mileage. There we go, let's put it back to 55. 923 so what I've done there is basically did it done it in kilometers uh, so you'd probably just need to do a, a, an easy um, conversion of um, kilometers to miles so uh, that's how to do it as I say the link is in the description below this video it's such a simple simple job to do um, but you do need this tool or the uh, the cheaper version of this tool which as I say is in the link below thanks for watching this video and I hope it helps